I am stoked. I can sit here and say, I got it. I have got it. Next. Yeah. <laughs> I had that thought. I could be here and get the knowing of it and shore it up, or I could go for a walk along the beach. Well, let's take thought beyond. Yeah. Yeah. I, when I, it's the wave. It builds up, it builds up, it gets so, wow. We like that word, wave, momentum. 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 When you maintain a frequency without introducing resistance, momentum becomes more and 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 more. It's exhilarating, isn't it? It's exhilarating. Yeah. In that, I feel like I'm breathing in the universe and it almost feels like, I walk around the house, can't get the grin off my face, spontaneous laughter, joy, self, self-love. And that's a big thing. I suddenly realised it is that joy of loving myself. We don't know of a way to induce that feeling of worthiness, which is what you're describing there, that is easier than to understand the laws Deliberately choose thought, pay attention to how the thought feels, recognize the momentum, and then watch the logical manifestational results of that. There is no greater way to understand your worthiness than to allow the blessings that are queued up for you to be realized by you. Because words don't teach. No. It's only life experience that teaches, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. And there isn't anything that makes you feel less worthy than when you pinch yourself off and then assign the pinching to someone else. I don't understand why you're not letting me have what I want. Mm. Done that for a while. Only you. So now what? Uh, well, I can appreciate when uh, I got sick of you telling me it's easy. I was going to stop telling me it's easy. And now in the ease, wow, it's easy. <laughs> when you are a really good athlete, let's say you play tennis. It's one of the few sports you have that Americans understand. <laughs> <laughs> and you're good at it. Do you seek an opponent who you can whip every time or do you like something that evokes from you something more so of course you're always reaching for that ease but isn't it nice to have something to reach for yeah and what you're going to come to understand if you don't already and some of you do know this is that it is not more difficult to create a castle than it is a button it's just a matter of identifying your desire and then believing it. And so it becomes easy once you get the laws. The object of your attention becomes irrelevant. Once you understand that you get to choose and once you understand that you can align with it and once you know how to prepare your grid and once you're able to watch for your the signs that let you know whether you're in alignment and allowing or not, now, there is nothing that you cannot be or do or have. Well, we want to say that in a different way. There has never been anything that you could not be or do or have, but when you know it, that's when you start allowing yourself to experience it. So what do you want to talk with us about? So in that, I suppose in that place, it feels so high-flying and sometimes it's like, whoa, this has got to settle down a bit. Or oh, people see you and think you're on drugs. It's like, whoa, <laughs> I've got to get a balance well, here. You, you get to control that. You get to control the gap between your desire and your allowing. And so the closer you are to alignment with what you want, then the calmer it feels. It's all about maintaining your own momentum, making sure that you're up to speed. We've been offering for a while an analogy. It came with our conversation about one of the processes that we offered, which was the focus wheel process. But we talked about 
the merry-go-rounds on the playgrounds. And when the kids have one really going fast and you want on, sometimes you can't get on because it's going too fast and you just can't get on. And when you try, off in the bushes you go. But if they will slow it down and then let you on and then you speed it up, then you can enjoy the increasing of the momentum. But recently, Esther has discovered for herself an image in her mind that it's like whatever she's doing grid-wise is like that merry-go-round that is spinning it. It's gaining momentum. So she is discouraged. She's on a merry-go-round that is in that vibrational arena. And in her discouragement, only others who are discouraged can get on with her. So even though she would like high-flying, happier, more productive, more efficient, more effective to get on with her, they can't get on because that's not where she is. So what you may begin to recognize is that you have control over where you hang around. And the more you deliberately focus your thoughts and allow your vibration to naturally rise as it will, then once you begin maintaining that higher frequency, then more of the things that you have been wanting and more of the things that have been spinning in your vortex can then flow easily into your experience. So it's nice to kick back and have some ease and it's nice to rev things up. We are not encouraging you to hit the floor running every day. We want you to have ease, but we also want you to have momentum. And what so many people are doing is they're gaining momentum and then they slow it down. And it's the discomfort of bringing your momentum. It's like a train that's going 100 miles an hour that way and you want it to go 100 miles an hour that way, but you don't want it to happen suddenly. You really want it to slow down and then speed back up. So law of attraction is managing all of that for you. Want to talk about something specific? It's just life in general. My stories of where I want to be and feeling I... I know what's coming. I know the expansion of where I'm going by my story. And and yet there will be constant surprises and delights, yes? Yes. Because you have a vibrational awareness of what's coming, but the details of it you don't know, not necessarily. No. So do you like to try to fill the details in? Yeah. And what do you think the benefit is of defining the details that you would like to unfold? The details that feel good. Yeah, for sure. Does it tell the universe what you want? Yes. Or have you already done that? You've I've already, I've already done you've, it. So what does talking about what you want in detail actually do for you vibrationally? Shores it, up the knowing of the place I'm in. It causes you to practice the vibration that allows the details to occur to you. Are you beginning to get the sense of this? Sometimes as you're thinking about deliberate creation, you think, well, I'm here and what I want is over there. And so I'll just figure out some way to bring that to me or to get me to it. And we would like you to begin to understand that you've already done the creating. The creating is already complete. You've got enough going on in your vortex to keep yourself busy for 20 or 30 lifetimes. So now, as you practice the art of allowing, as you reach for more and more thoughts that feel increasingly better and better, and as you maintain that higher frequency longer and longer, the grid fills in and the grid fills in with the manifestations that you all have been assigning to yourself as your job. We want to back up and say that again because we really want you to hear this. Sometimes you think that in order to get your vibration in the right place, that you need to think about your goal, talk about your goal, get really good at articulating it, Talk about how much money you want and what you will do with it when you get it. Sort of like you're telling the universe, this is what I want, so don't forget about me. And we want you to understand that every minute you spend verbalizing, imagining, envisioning, that's not your time of identifying what you want. You already did that in step one. And that's not your time of making it happen because Source has already gathered all of the cooperative components. That's already done too. But every moment you spend envisioning or articulating or talking with others, those are moments that you're spending practicing a grid 
that puts you in the place of then being open-minded and in a place that you can receive the awareness. So then those ideas begin to flood into your mind and you say, I have a really good idea. And you think that you have conjured the really good idea. And in essence, you have conjured it, but it came from your vortex that's already conjured. Are you getting the sense of what we're talking about? Your path to the money you want, your path to the lover you want, the path to everything that you want has already been defined. You're just wanting to put yourself in a place where you can receive it, you see. We just can't emphasize strongly enough your awareness that you have a point of attraction and that your job is a lot simpler than you think it has been. It's not your job to stand now and sift and sort to make sure you get the right thing. You've already made sure. And it's not your job to convince anybody that you're deserving of it because you are already deserving of it. It's already in your vortex. Your job is to chill. Your job is to find ease. Your job is to quiet your mind. Your job is to make lists of positive aspects. Your job is to do rampages of appreciation. Your job is to meditate yourself into alignment. Your job is to bask in the deliciousness of your life. Your job is to get general enough that you stop doing that thing you've been doing that preclude you, that disallow you from receiving the inspiration you see. So now you're starting to get a sense of what your life is about. Now your life is about receiving the inspiration you're on your highway and you're on your way to some place you go frequently but now you're getting a really strong impulse to do something else instead it defies the logic or the general pattern that you've been following but it's a new sensation it's a new hunch it's a new inspiration it's a new impulse that's so strong that you cannot deny it because you've been practicing not denying it you've been practicing following the rhythm that's coming into your grid because you're beginning to trust it you're beginning to feel more worthy things are starting to work out for you you're beginning to trust your own instincts you're beginning to understand that you have this guidance you're beginning to know that source is with you and knows what you want and knows the path to it not just the direct path but the path that will bring you the most pleasure on the way to it you know sometimes the path to what you think you want isn't the most direct path it's the scenic route <laughs> it's the scenic route that has the ability to give you more nuggets of more of the things that you wanted along the way so that your life literally becomes one where it just unfolds it's good and then it's good and then it's good and then it's gooder and then it's gooder and then it's better and then it's better and then it's good and then it's good and then it's better and then it's better and then it's time for sleep and then you wake up and then it's good and then it's better and then it's good and then it's better and then it's good and then it's better and then it's good because you're in that path you're in sync with your understanding of the laws of the universe and the way that you apply them Life is supposed to be fun for you. You're not supposed to work your way into your successes. You've already requested and they've already been given to you. Your job is to play your way into your successes, to ease your way into your successes, to allow your way into your successes, to allow your way into the revelation of them, to your revelation of them. It's a bit backwards of what you've heard, isn't it? Just work hard, keep my nose to the grindstone, apply myself, be diligent. Be virtuous, be vigilant, be hardworking, apply myself. And we say, you can measure yourself as a hardworking being against other hardworking beings and you can eke out a slightly better level of mediocrity. You can. But if you're wanting to experience the leverage that creates worlds, if you're wanting to be one of these masters that you revere, if you're wanting to live life the way those who are tuned in and tapped in and turned on do, if you want the dollars to flow abundantly to you, if you want the clear ideas to flow, if you want the music to flow through you and the art to flow through you and the vitality of your body to flow through you, there is not anything that you cannot be or do or have. And if you're not living all of the things that life has helped you to identify, then it's time for you to chill because you're working so hard in many cases that you're disallowing the vibration that allows what you're wanting. So you go to work and you say to your employer, I've decided to take a new tact. I've been working far too hard. I'm gonna go easier. And you imagine that your employer would say, well, then I will be looking for a more diligent person. I'll be looking for someone who is willing to suffer more for the rewards that I eke out here. And you may want to say something along the lines of, well, what do you think about just giving it a try? Because I believe that I can be more effective, more productive, more efficient, 
and produce more for you under these conditions than under those conditions. So what do you think about giving it a try? Well, your employer may or may not, but if we were standing in your physical shoes, it is the route that we would begin to take immediately. We would not suffer our way into erroneous success. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.